When life gets harder, challenge yourself to be stronger. Ricky, all the way from Brisbane today. We're going to get you guys nice and warmed up for this tornado workout. Who's excited? Five minute dynamic warm up, five exercises, and we're going to spend one minute on each exercise. First one, guys, is our knee hug to calf raise. Now, as we move through, we're going to do it walking. So we're going to create some space here, four steps forward. So bringing that right knee up, hugging it in close to your chest, up onto that tippy toe on that left foot, stepping forward, straight into that next one. As we move through this one, four steps forward, and then walking it back. We're going to complete this for one minute, team. Exercise two team is going to be that alternating walk being figure four. So we're going to be completing it the same as the first one where we're walking forward. So we're going to take that right knee up nice and high, grab that right ankle. You're gonna push that knee down as you draw that ankle in nice and close. It's gonna help open up the hips and you're gonna feel it warm up through your glutes as we move through. You're gonna come down, step forward, just a little step, just a half step. Opposite leg as we move through. Four steps forward, once we've done that, we're gonna walk it back and restart that one. Exercise three here team, we've got that alternating toy soldier. So with this one, wrist directly in line with your shoulders, draw your shoulders back, chest out tall. Opposite foot is going to come to opposite palm as we kick straight up there, team. Strong core, nice high kicks. Exercise four here, team, we've got that forward and back skip. Now with this one, it's going to be opposite knee with opposite elbow up nice and high. You're going to help swing that arm through to create the drive and the height in that one. We're going to do this four across. As we move through, so nice high skip, get that elbow up, swing that arm through and run it straight back. Straight up and through, nice and powerful team. Number five, final one to get nice and warm here team, we've got the jumping jacks, one of my favourites. As we move throughout, we're going to swing those arms up and our feet are going to go out as well. So nice wide steps there as we move through. Make sure we swing those arms through at the same pace our feet move. Now an alteration to this one, especially for those who need it for their pelvic floor, we're just going to step out with that one. But we've got to move quite fast with that one. Soft through your knees. And get those arms going, ladies. Great stuff, team.
Don't be upset with the results you didn't get from the work that you didn't do. Righto, Orange Nation, we've heard you loud and clear. We know you're missing it. So back by popular demand, Tornado Tuesday. And it is a cracker. We've got one big block. It goes for 47 minutes. We've got nine exercises in there. One minute per exercise. We're going for three rounds. In your first round, team, you're going to have a 30-second rest after each exercise. Righto team, so that first exercise is gonna be the body weight running man. We wanna jump down into that push up position, hands below the shoulders, nice straight alignment, shoulders down through the feet, driving those knees towards the elbows. Your option here, you can reduce your range of movement or place your hands on an elevated platform. Exercise number two is gonna be the speed skater. So sinking back, transferring our weight from one leg to the other, inside leg comes up, keeping that balance, as we move from side to side. Your option here, you can do an alternate lateral lunge as your option. Exercise number three is gonna be the plank jack. So in that high plank position, hands below the shoulders, draw that belly button to the spine, jumping feet out, jumping feet back in. Your option here, you can step out to the side or you can raise your hands on an elevated platform. Exercise four is our alternate reverse lunge. So, standing up nice and tall, shoulders back and down. We take a large step to the rear. Legs should be at 90 degrees, nice and tall through the chest, stepping forward and alternating sides. Your option here is just to simply reduce your range of movement. Right, team, exercise number five is gonna be palms to elbows. So starting in that high plank position, hands below your shoulders, draw that belly button to the spine. From here, coming down onto your elbow and then coming back up into that high plank position, making sure that each time we lower down, we change elbows. Your option here, team, dropping down to your knees, maintain that straight alignment, shoulders down through your knees. So exercise number six, the mini bend squat to alternate leg lift. So when our feet are about hip width apart, pushing hips back, driving up through the heels at the top of the movement, 
controlled leg lift to one side and then alternating sides as we go. Okay, your option here is reduce your range of movement on the squat or you can remove the mini band. Right, team, exercise number seven is going to be the leg raise to the hip raise. Laying down on your mat, legs nice and straight, arms by the side. From here, raising legs up, lifting hips up, coming back down and lowering the legs, okay? Now, your option here is you can simply bend your legs in, lift the hips and continue on like that or just simply reduce your range of movement. I know, exercise number eight is everyone's favourite, the burpee. So, feet hip width apart, we're crouching down, hands on the ground, jumping our feet back, keeping that belly button drawn to the spine, jumping feet in and coming with a jump and a clap at the top. Your option is, of course, coming down, stepping those feet out, stepping them back in and standing up. Right, our team, your final exercise is the power sit-up. Starting in the upright position, arms straight by the heels. From here, extending back out, arms and legs, powering back up, knees to chest, hands to ankles, and continuing on. Your option from here is simply reduce your range of movement, or you can head into a double crunch. So coming forward, hands towards the knees, shoulder blades off the ground, and extending back out again. So there you know an exercises team, Tornado Tuesday, so pumped, one minute on each exercise. Let's get it.
stop. We always get invited and we don't flop. And yeah, we're always looking hot. Just because we want to make your jaw drop. And everybody's on the gas.
Righto, Orange Nation, that's block one, done and dusted, tick in the box, great work. We're about to head into block number two. Same exercises here, same duration we're doing them for, but this time your rest is gonna increase to 45 seconds after each exercise. We're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper this time around, team, okay? So remember, don't be upset with the results you didn't get from the work that you didn't do, okay? Opportunity here, you can have results or excuses, but you can't have both. What do you choose? Let's get ready to rock and roll. Block two coming at ya. Best believe I know it's real. I've seen it with my eyes. Best believe. Best believe I know it's real. I've seen it with my eyes. Best
clarity warning that when you wake up no sleep no time no patience from nobody nobody boarding feeling something like a plane ride when forces try hard to take my mind saying to me try if you fail we'll all be watching what if i'm the first to disagree yeah. hook jab gonna cut my way through hook jab now it's round two now it's round two empty my cup but it's never enough so i i got my dukes dukes i got my dukes I'm faded, searching for daylight, still pacing back and forth, back and back and forth. Got no one in my corner, and I gotta work it out. Feeling forces trying to dim my light, teeth clenched, knuckles all white, all white, all white. Life got me punched drunk on the ropes. Suffering blow by blow, fight toe to toe. Placing bets, but I already know. Hook, jab, gonna cut my way through.
Hey team, how are we doing? You guys are smashing it so far today, well done. That's two blocks down, we've got one last block to go. Same nine exercises, this time you're gonna have a one minute recovery after each exercise. Righto, some things to think about. You're feeling quite fatigued at this point. So really important to nail that technique with each and every move, okay? That mind-muscle connection here, very important to keep you safe, keep you efficient. Righto, shake it out. We need to prep ourselves for this last block. Okay, so I know you're hurting, but you know what? If you're hurting, it means you're alive, okay? So don't give in and don't give up. Right here, right now, you've got an opportunity right in front of you to do better and to be better, okay? So don't waste this chance. Grab it with both hands. It doesn't matter how you start the race, it matters how you finish the team. Let's go, pump yourselves up. We've got this team.
and around and around, caught up in a sense of wonder. A tide pulls from within her, it pulls you in.
If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Hey, OTF Nation, it is Coach Mike from Point Off That Sweat. You guys put in a good one through that tornado, and now is the most important part of class. 
our flexibility block. We'll start you down onto your mat and we will work through child's pose first. So really want to bring that nervous system back in an order. You work that flight and fight response, work on that rest and restore. So big toes together, extension through the arms out in front of your mat. Sink those hips as far as you can back. If you can bring your head to your mat, great. Again, take a nice big inhales and exhale through, expand through that rib cage. From there, once we are done with our child's pose, we will move into our next stretch. It is going to be the cobra. So you're gonna bring yourself down, extension through the legs, hands to the side of the shoulders, pinch those elbows in, down and back. From there, you'll take a nice deep inhale in, and exhale as we come up, try to go full extension through the elbows, peeling your chest and core off of your mat. Coming back down to reset, again, Wiggle out those fingers, get yourself in a better position for your wrist if needed. And inhale, and exhale through. From there we'll go quad stretch, so just picking a side, relaxing through your shoulder. You can rest your head on your shoulder if necessary, grabbing that left ankle with left hand. And again, just relaxing, opening up, feeling that tension release to the front of your quad. From there, our next stretch will be the cat camel, so back to all fours, table topping. Pressing through the palms, driving the knees to the mat. Again, big inhale. We'll expand and rotate through the shoulders, bringing that chin to the chest, and then exhale. Rotate through the spine. Again, the head will come up, gazing out in front. Again, inhale and exhale through. And then last but not least, we'll move into a cross, crisscross spinal twist for you. So crisscrossing the left leg over the right. From there, we'll anchor that left knee with the right elbow or hugging it in whatever you prefer here, hand behind you, and just opening up, gazing out back over that left shoulder. Again, breathing into it, and as we exhale, really tighten up that core and see if we can twist just a little bit further. This is gonna be great for spinal health, and that is your flexibility. Now 